So we come to the sixth move of the Pilates Hypno sequence based on the eight brocades. This one's called Two Hands, Climb the Legs, Strengthen Kidneys. Um, generally with the hands they run up and down the, in a traditional form, they run up and down the kidney meridian and the urinary bladder meridian. <clears throat> Again, we're just taking the motion, putting the Pilates principles with them, because it is motion at the end of the day, and we're adding a hypno or a hypnotic breath in with it to the motion. So the movement's gonna be the same, we're just gonna elongate the out breath as long as we can on the motion we do the out breath. Okay, so I'll explain that as we go. So let's start from the beginning, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals, navel towards the spine, and we're gonna go for the breath, two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbones, shoulders down so they don't come up here, and as you zip up pelvic floor now and scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. That's going to throw on our corset, three layers deep. The transverse abdominis, the corset muscle, three layers deep, which is segmentally stabilising our spine. <clears throat> Shoulders are down, two middle fingers touching. And as you now breathe in through the nose and exhale through per slips, you'll see the two middle fingers, or you're filled with two middle fingers, doing this and coming back to touch each other. Just adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath. So you zip up the pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. Breathe into these lower lobes of the lungs because that'll naturally make you do that. And exhale through pursed lips. So you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. That's the Pilates breath. You can't go wrong. Zip up the pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. They both go together. If you forget one, the other one goes, etc. But again, suck in the belly button basically, and that'll help you breathe anywhere but the belly button, help you breathe into the lower lobes of the lungs. Totally contrary to the usual traditional form, which I'm not blasting, but we're just going for the Pilates setup with motion really. Um, nice basic motion, you might be able to get back after a bad back problem, etc. Nice basic move, so perfect for Pilates. And as you breathe in through the nose, and exhale through per slip, so you do that now. You're gonna elongate the out breath for as long as you like. So as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, notice as you breathe in through the nose, and exhale through per slips for as long as you like, you'll notice the breath going in low and deep as usual to these fish gills. 3D style into these lower lobes of lungs, but also as you breathe in through the nose right now, and exhale through purse slip for as long as you like, quadruple it, double it, triple it, wherever you like the out breath, make it longer than the in breath. Because as you breathe in, that's conscious floor, as you exhale, that's subconscious floor. So keep on doing that. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, keep that tucked in the whole time, Breathe in through the nose and exhale for as long as you like. Don't force anything. Just make the out breath longer than the in breath. And that will help the parasympathetic nervous system in a more beneficial way. Well-being, etc. As you tap into the breath, you would dive deeper into relaxation of each breath. Especially that elongated out breath. If you keep on doing that now, breathing through the nose and exhaling through purse lips. The in-breath's conscious thought, the out-breath's subconscious thought. So by extending the out-breath longer than the in-breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation to all be benefited by lengthening the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Lovely. So to start with a motion, we're gonna simply calibrate that and synchronize that to the motion, integrate that to the movement. So from here, same deal, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. We're gonna calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion. We're gonna start with the first one. So within nutritional form, we breathe in here, okay? And then we're gonna exhale down. Now this would be the meridian line, running down the legs there. The kidney meridian line, and it'd be coming up the inside legs to here. Breathing and coming up, exhaling down. You're generally bringing that essence down with you. Bringing the atoms of the air, etc. 
that energy will be coming down. We're not going to go too far deep into that. We're going to keep on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals. Breathe in, bring the hands to shen, sit the kidneys. As you breathe in to prepare, you're going to exhale down. Again, it's not a utanasana, but you're stretching the stretch. Again, we're just hanging in nice and loosely like a rag doll. Navel towards the spine, zipping up and following. Hands come down here, and you breathe in, come up. And you exhale down. Then you breathe into here, and you repeat again. Just do that a couple more times before we add more detail. Exhale down, breathe in, come up. Then exhale back, hands come to here. You breathe in to prepare to go again, to create that flexion of the spine. Now, with this, again, feet hip width apart, or slightly wider if you need to. Legs are straight, they're not locked. If you want them a little bit more bent to make it easier on the lumbar region of the spine, then do that. Okay, if you want to just come down to here, or support it even, you know, adapt it if you need. If you're coming back from a bad back problem, then do that. Keep zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals. That support the spine. And again, we're going to elongate the out breath. So the bit of flexion is on the exhale. So we're going to really elongate the exhales within this sort of mini form. Okay, so from here, we're going to breathe into the pair. Keep your shoulders down. And then you're going to exhale down. Again, really elongate the out breath there. That's the longer motion. Then on the in breath, we make it shorter. And on the exhale, we're going to really come down slow. Exhaling through pursed lips. For as long as you like. Breathe in, hands on the kidneys. And again, we're changing the rhythm and the timing of it. We're going to exhale down. So it sounds like this. I'm going to overemphasize it so you can hear it. So it's a. Perhaps an inwards dying off, thinking tiny waist, the space at the end of the breath, breathing coming up. A little bit quicker there. Then you're going to exhale down slower on this exhale. Then you're going to breathe into here. To prepare, then you're going to exhale down. See how slower the exhale part is. Space at the end of the breath. Then you're going to breathe in, come up. A little bit quicker. Then you're going to exhale down. Lovely. Hands on the kidneys, then you go again. <clears throat> again, just playing around with that. Again, legs are straight but not locked. Hold time. When you're coming down here, this part of the abs, the abdominals, is compressed. So we really want to tuck the belly button in towards the spine. Even imagine a little rip cord around the belly button coming in towards the spine. That magnet on the spine, pulling the belly button in, navel towards the spine, exhaling down. Again, like I said, if you want to, if you've got really got, you know, you're coming back from a bad back problem, you might want to just support here or soften the knees a little bit more, make it a little bit easier. You can always straighten your legs later, but never completely locked on any joints, always soft joints. Exhaling down, gathering, navel towards the spine, hanging like a rag doll. They're more release stretches, these. Hanging, not sort of stretching the stretch, like a sort of yoga stretch. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And then you're coming up. Again, nothing wrong with the usual way you do it. In the form, the traditional form, when you breathe into the belly button like a blue, that creates nice meditative motion and effects and that will massage all the internal organs but again we're just taking the movement from this eight form sequence and putting it with Pilates principles and again just modifying it only make these as easy or as hard as you like when you elongate the exhale don't sort of force out so you're like gasping for breath just exhale out for as long as you like and make the movement with that exhale get the motion in your head first of all and the exhale part, just elongate that motion for as long as you like. And that'll make this more hypnotic. You can play around with these. It's only movement. Don't get too, too caught up in exactly what it is, etc. You'll get the benefits of well-being every time or every, with every breath. 
you'll feel the effects of well-being. Lovely. As every cell gets flooded with peace, relaxation, as you go on further and repeat and pre. But just do a couple reps to start off with and build them up. Lovely. So that was number six, this eight form sequence. We've got number seven, which is called a couple of different names, punching for an angry gaze or charging fist, etc. That's number seven. Eight form sequence. That was number six. Lovely. Bang.